there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. Not a bird, not a plane, not even a frog. Just big low me, underdog. There's Dempsey and his buddy, Julie. Go, 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 Bruce on the run. The stories of the crag outrageous. No one could be more courageous. No need to fear, Underdog is here. Let him have it. Bunch. Screw <laughs> Hey, Riff, how many jobs do you try to pull off in the last month? Six. Yeah. And six times Underdog stopped us. Yeah, but this time I got a plan. We're going to use a helicopter to rob the bank. I'm going to lower you guys through the skylight. When you got all the dough, yank on the rope twice and I'll haul you up. <laughs> I'm a genius. No one will ever figure how the bank was robbed. Ah. There is the two Yanks, and up comes a million dollars. Whoops! Underdog! What happened, boss? Underdog shows up, as usual. But this time, I got a new plan that Underdog will never get wise to. We're going to steal cars and take them through the tunnel to the other side of the river. But that's crazy, boss. They'll just fold ahead and the cops will catch us as we come out of the tunnel. Oh, no, they won't. That's the beauty part. They'll be looking for red cars, or green cars, or blue cars. But nothing but black cars will be coming out. <laughs> you mean? Right. We're going to paint them as they go through the tunnel. Here comes the face hot car. It's red. <laughs> now it's black! Boy, here comes a yellow one! <laughs> it won't be for long! Hey, you dumb crook! What are you stopping for? If changing colors is what you do, I'll change your color to black and blue! Underdog! No, no, no! <laughs> All right, cut out the grumbling. Underdog did it to us again? But this time I got a plan that'll really fool him. We're going to knock off an armored car. Now here's the plan. Beautiful, beautiful! A million bucks drops right in on us. <laughs> Keep those guys covered and open the doors. On the door. This time, Riff, you've gone too far. I won't let you steal this armored car. Get him, boys! Ah! 
Nine times in one month that underdog has loused us up. Yeah, uh, boy, and that's some man. I don't, know. I don't go for that. I don't like boy. that. Why you? This time I got a new plan. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. boy, oh boy. Wow. <laughs> I said quiet. Now I'll give it to you short and sweet. We're leaving town. Leaving, leaving town? town? Yeah. We are going west. What does Riff mean? What will the gangsters do out west? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. Hinterlands of Bongo Congo lay the hidden hideout of those two crafty criminals, traitorous Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother, the no good brother of good King Leonardo. Here they plotted their plots against the king. It's not Kingsley who gets in our way, Itch. He's a boob. It's that old Foley Colony who causes us trouble. And I'm out to get that Colony. With him out of the way, we're a cinch to take over the kingdom. Yeah, but uh, Odie always stays near the king. Like, uh, how do we break up the set? Easy, Itch. Here's the plan. Later, unaware that a scheme was being schemed, True Blue Odie Colony, faithful servant of King Leonardo, went calmly about his important royal duties. Today was hedge trimming day. And from the other side of the hedge, those two treacherous traitors approached wearing new disguises. Look, Big. Uh, looks like uh, we're in a clip joint. <laughs> Not the funny business. You need a clip yourself. Now remember what I told you. You're okay, Big. I dig. Hey, you up there. Come on down. We'd like to have a little chat. Sorry, gentlemen. I'm really quite busy. You'll have to wait until I have trimmed the hedge. Like, uh, look out above. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? I'll take Did steps. Did you say that, Mr. Producer? Greatest fall I ever saw in my life. Like, uh, positively, Mr. Director, baby. And he made it look uh, as easy as uh, falling off a ladder. Uh, did you ever think of becoming an actor, stranger? You have real talent. Well, I did do some amateur dramatics. Did figures? I mean, like, falling down like that has to be learned on the, on the, the bumpy road of experience. Uh, right, Mr. Director, baby? Right, Mr. Producer. Now, stranger, we happen to be talent scouts. We think a talent like yours shouldn't be wasted. You're a real artist. Oh, I don't really think... Now, don't be modest, say. There are a few rough edges to be ironed out to make you a polished actor, but the Method School in London can handle that. But I couldn't possibly leave my king. Now, uh, you go to the method school in London. And when you're finished there, we'll make you a big star of stage and screen, maybe even TV. But I, I'd i have to leave Bongo Congo. I'll think it over, stranger. You owe it to your future public. And here's our card. Just let us know if you decide to go. Uh, come on, Mr. Producer. Uh, right with you, Mr. Director, baby. <laughs> you think he, he, like, fell for it, Big? Like a ton of bricks. He's a born hand. Was Biggie Rat right? Only a short while later in the royal bedroom of the palace. I've been waiting for you, too, Blue Odie. It's time for my afternoon nap and... To bed, to bed. There's knocking at the gate. Come, give me your hand. Give you my hand? Confound it, will you stop that nonsense and help me? I want to take a nap and I can't get the button on my robe undone. What's done cannot be undone. To bed, to bed, to bed. Yes, now Odie Coloni seemed to be unable to stop thinking of himself as being on stage. Well, go away, Odie. I want to get some sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream. Ah, uh, there's the rub. For in that sleep... Confound it! This is the most unheard of thing I've ever heard of! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, sire. It's just that... that... Yes, yes, what is it? I've been offered a chance to go on the stage, sire. You? On the stage? Oh, oh that's rich. Oh, really rich. To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the sleep. <laughs> You'd certainly better get a new writer. <laughs> oh, that material is terrible. Perhaps my delivery is not perfect yet, sire. 
but in the London Method School for actors. Oh, 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 oh. Well, go ahead. Go to London. Get it out of your system. <laughs> You'll be back soon enough to the good life you have here. Oh, 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 oh an actor. Oh, 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 oh. But will the king laugh when Odie leaves Bongo Congo? We'll find out in our next exciting episode, One Way Ticket to Venus. It's one o'clock, Major Minor. You know what that means. No, one o'clock? That means... That means it's time to use... The cat caller. Ah, the cat caller. Major Minor here, calling Klondike Cat in New York City. Major Minor calling Klondike Cat in New York City. Well, Klondike, you're all set to go. Yeah, I sure am. I'm just waiting for a final cat call from Klondike headquarters. Calling Klondike Cat. Major Minor here. Calling Klondike Cat. Major Minor here. That's it. Calling That's my cat call. Major Minor here. Calling Klondike Cat. Major Minor here. Calling Klondike Cat. Major Minor here. There she is. Klondike Cat. The Klondike Cat caller. <laughs> yeah, hello, Major. Don't worry about a thing. I have the rare cheese. But what about... What about... Savoir Fair? Oh, that's all taken care of. The New York police have given me secret transportation back to the fort. Now I'll call just as soon as I'm on my way. Well, Klondike Cat, I sure hope you have a good trip. So long, New York policeman. And thanks for this swell transportation. <laughs> this time I really did it. That Savoir Fair hasn't got a chance. Klondike Cat calling Major Minor. Major Minor here. Yeah. yeah, I'm off the ground, Major. I'm heading for the fort in a balloon. A balloon? Yeah. That's why Savoir Fair won't get a chance to touch this cheese. Wish you were here with me, Major Minor. You is fine. We're just passing over the Empire State Building. Tallest building around, you know. And I can see... The beautiful cheese. Eh? Now we must climb up and disappear. Yeah, and there's the Hudson River. Yeah, there's Shea Stadium. Oh, and there's Savoir Fair. Savoir Fair. Savoir Fair. What do you mean? Hello. Hello. All right, you mouse. How did you get on this balloon? Savoir Fair is everywhere. Don't, don't boil you in oil. I'll, I'll hang you out like the wash. Yeah, yeah. I'll make mincemeat out of you, mouse! Now I've got you, Savoir Fair! <laughs> you can't hang on forever, Savoir Fair! <laughs> and I'm gonna enjoy watching you zoom down to the earth! Hands up, Klondike yeah, But you can't be here and there and... Savoir Fair is everywhere! But no, no! And uh, now I will take the cheese. <laughs> okay, Savoir Fair. <laughs> take the cheese, but this balloon won't stop until it gets to the fort. <laughs> so you can't get off. You can't take the cheese off. <laughs> All right, what is that? Monsieur Klondike, and thank you for the cheese. Why, you, I'll blast you into nothing. Ooh, this gun won't hit a thing. Oh no, it did hit something. We find Malemotte and have a delicious meal of cheese. Klondike Cat, 
always gets his mouth. Good show, Claudine. In our last episode, Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother decided that it was really Odie Colony who always caused their plans to fail. To get him out of Bongo Congo, they convinced Odie he should go on the stage. Did you see that, Mr. Producer? Greatest fall I ever saw in my life. Now, stranger, we happen to be talent scouts, and we think a talent like yours shouldn't be wasted, right, Mr. Producer? You're like uh, positively, Mr. Director, baby. Now, you go to the method acting school in London, and when you're finished there, we'll make you a big star. Later, when Odie told King Leonardo about the author... You on the stage? Oh, 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 oh. That, that, that's rich. Oh, oh, oh that's really rich. Uh, go ahead. Go to London. You'll be back soon enough to the good life you have here. Oh, 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 oh. An actor. <laughs> soon, Odie Colony was on his way to London. While at the hideout of Biggie and Itchy... But, uh, gee, Big, I don't dig this medic bit. Like, uh, why the kooky costume? Just get the disguise on, Quack. I'll do the thinking. Uh, maybe we're gonna, like, uh, operate on the king, huh? Epic? Oh, boy. Uh, sponge? Uh, knife? Uh, scissors? Uh, towel? Uh, sword? Now, oh, wait a minute. Stop the clowning, Pagliacci. Why disguised as scientists, get it? Scientists. Okay, Big, I dig. A short while later, at the palace throne room... Oh, come in, come in, gentlemen. You're just in time for an exciting game of Bongo Bongo. <laughs> the board's all set up. Oh, man, that's like my favorite game. I'll take this chip. Uh, maybe later, Your Royal Highness. Right now, we have important scientific business. And we've developed a new space rocket that'll land a man on the planet Venus. On Venus? Oh, splendid, splendid. We thought you'd like to christen the rocket ship. Oh, of course. I'll ring for a bottle of royal champagne immediately. Hurriedly, the king was taken to the spot where Piggy Rat had set up the huge rocket ship designed by the diabolical Professor Messer, the international mad scientist who was master of a thousand disguises. Today, he was British. King, meet the genius who designed the rocket. I say now, awfully jolly of you to pop in like this, Your Highness. We're all terribly, terribly honored by your presence and all that sort of rubbish, want? Oh, yes, yes, but let's get on with the christening. Uh, jolly good. If you'll just pop inside the rocket and break the champagne. Inside? I thought the christening was always done on the outside. Of course, of course, except for top, top secret ships like this one. Can't have enemy spies watching what's going on now, can we, Your Majesty? No, no. So if you'll just pop inside, put the that. A good trip, old chap. So long, Kings, eh? Like a uh, bon voyage, brother! Well, that takes care of that. Now, guys, it's back to the palace. We're taking over Bongo Congo now. But back at the palace throne room... Holy Colony! But you're supposed to be in London. Get him, boys! <laughs> Tony Colony fought a courageous battle, but the three criminals were too much for him. Well, good show, old chaps. Looks like we won what? But just then... Well, so this is Venus. <laughs> it looks very familiar. <laughs> In fact, it looks just like my own throne room. It is, sire. You haven't reached Venus at all. And a lucky thing. When I returned to give you the royal Odie decoder, I knew he had been tricked. Ah, uh, you saved the kingdom from those three villains. Yes, the rocket ship had luckily come home to roost. And Bongo Congo was once more in safe hands. But will Biggie and Itchy strike back? And what will Professor Messer invent next? Don't miss our next exciting episode of The King and Odie. After being stopped again and again by Underdog, Riff Raff had decided to move his criminal activities to the West. The West? The West? Like the cowboys? West. Uh, right. 
underdogs making it too hot for us here in the city. So we're going way far away and get a little western town of our own right here. We are taking it over. Bank robbing. Train robbing. Cattle rustling. Now, here's the way we're going to do it. Several days later, a long string of sleek black limousines wound their way across the country and stopped on the outskirts of a small western town. Everybody out! Change into western clothes! Go get the horses. Ford! Ha! Some kind of joke? I'll show you what kind of joke. Dance. <laughs> oh, look. They must be making a movie. A movie? Yeah, I'll show you a movie. Move, 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 move. <laughs> but before the townspeople realized what was really going on, the gangsters had cut the telephone and telegraph wires, taken over the radio station, the television station, and the police station, and were in complete control of the town. Now, here it is. From now on, I'm the boss of this town. What I say goes. Now there's going to be some changes made. First of all, we're going to change the name of the place. From now on, it's going to be known as Riff Ravil. And Riff Ravil is going to be a real old western town. So start knocking down all these new buildings. Meanwhile, with all the crooks gone to Riff Raffville, the city was strangely quiet and peaceful. Good morning, friends in TV land. The strangest news of all today is that there is absolutely no crime in the city. The police have nothing to do, and the world's greatest hero doesn't do anything but rescue cats out of trees and other small jobs. Can it be true? It's quite a come down for a hero like me to have to rescue a cat from a tree. Are you hurt? No, I just gave the road a little dent, but I'm afraid my secret ring is bent. Here, I'll take it to the jewelers and have it fixed. But the secret compartment in my ring I fill with an underdog super energy pill. You won't need your super energy pill for a while. There's no crime going on. But without my super energy pill, I grow weaker and weaker and weaker still. You mean you'd be just like everyone else? You could get hit by a car? Knocked out with a punch? Even, even shot? The secret you alone now know. Don't tell us all or I may go. There's no need to worry now. Things are quiet. I'll get your ring fixed and back as soon as possible. Meanwhile, back in Riff Raff, Bill. <laughs> Everything's working out perfect. <laughs> but what about Underdog Boss? What if he comes snooping around? Got that all figured out. I'm sending this invite to Sweet Polly Purebred to come out west for a free vacation. And when she does, we'll grab her and hold her hostage. And so it happened a few days later that Sweet Polly arrived in the newly transformed town of Riff Raffville. Excuse me, I'm looking for the dude ranch where I'm supposed to spend my free vacation. Do you know where it... <laughs> It's right in here. Riff Raff? With Sweet Polly captured by Riff Raff, what about Underdog? And where is his ring? There's a thrilling time ahead in our next exciting episode. Do -do 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 -do